they noticed that I was young. I shouldn't have been out. So they came out with a translator, asked her what's she doing here. I just need to go to the Red Cross. They said, we can't take her to the Red Cross. We need to take her somewhere safe. And then we will talk tomorrow about where we go next with her. And why can't they take you to the Red Cross? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, what was about to happen with me next is that the Red Cross, the people, not the actual Red Cross itself, I can't fault it. But during the war, when they set up a camp somewhere, they have local people running it. The local people were corrupt. They knew that if they took me there, because I've crossed borders and I'm Serbian, I don't fit the profile of someone that should be given shelter in Kosovo, considering I was from Serbia. And some of the people in the actual that were running the Red Cross, they they were involved in human trafficking. And so they didn't want to take me there. So they took me to their apartment uh, with my permission. I said, okay, well, I needed shelter. So we became best friends.